and the devil oh my goodness there's a capricorn here that's about to shock you holy crap scorpio the tower the that wallet that they have that you know purse is thick and it's loaded i said it it's big money coming in you're you're hearing news that someone has monkey pox okay so there's a karmic here that they're gonna try to take you to court the month of september okay this has been coming up for multiple people but it's coming up again y'all like some type of leaked photo leaked video or leaked text messages or someone's catfishing account something like that oh scorpio there's a move somebody here has to make a move this month this could be out of state or out of the country this opportunity but september i do see that a situation with someone is like it's nearing its end. There's the grand finale here when it comes Yo, to How are you? Welcome back to the channel. Cersei Zayed here. If you're new, make sure to subscribe and join the Soul Tribe. We have a reading for you guys, okay? This is your journal read for September 2024. It's a journal read. Take what resonates. Leave what doesn't behind. Crosswashers are welcome. This message is also timeless. Personal reads are in the link tree link in the description box below. I want to thank everyone for all the support. And with all that out of the way, we're going to get started. Thank you so much, angels, ancestors, spirit guides, universe, galactic beings, ancient ancestors, elders, guide us in this read for my Scorpios. What messages do you have for us? Truly grateful for your divine guidance and celestial light. So, Scorpio, what is going on in the month of September? We have Aquarius upside down, the star in reverse, Uranus retrograde. Then we have the moon, Cancer, the moon card, and the chariot. We have number 12. On the side, Hangman and the High Priestess on the side, Neptune getting ready to station direct. At the bottom, we have the King of Pentacles, okay. And the Devil, oh my goodness, there's a Capricorn here that's about to shock you. Holy crap, Scorpio, the Tower. And I'm going to get a YouTube comment notification when I pull this card, Scorpio. You are about to have... And the Five of Wands. There's a Capricorn here. And I don't know. What is going on in these reads? Like with the energy. The energy is too much. Like too much nooky nooky energy as of late. I kept saying it other weeks prior. A lot of people are going to come out saying they're pregnant. I don't know if it's the energy. Or, or a lot of people are going to come out saying like they've had a hidden boyfriend hidden girlfriend all this time or they were having a hidden fling an affair or they were mistress or mister to something like a lot of people are going to come out revealing the truth okay so don't be shocked but holy hell scorpio you have an incredible capricorn here and when i say incredible they're incredible they're rich they work in the city okay with the tower here king of pentacles the devil this individual is rich they're rich, rich, okay? Let me say it again. They're rich, rich. They have money. Their wallet is thick. Okay, that wallet, that purse that they have, my stomach is growling, I'm fasting. But that wallet that they have, that, you know, purse is thick and it's loaded, okay? It's the triple load, okay? Right in there, all kinds of credit cards and different accounts and whatnot. This individual is rich, rich. This is a CEO or a boss, they're very demanding, very aggressive, okay? This man, this woman, whoever they are. It, it will be no guessing games here when it comes to this individual. A lot of you are going to meet this individual while you're on a trip to a city, okay? Or while you're out in some type of social gathering. This could be some type of family event. This could be a baby shower or a bridal shower, a wedding. Okay, but that's where you're going to meet this individual. This individual is darker hair this individual for a lot of you could be indian okay for some of you they could be from azerbaijan pakistani okay i guess stuff like that from this energy some of you they could be korean but i definitely get this individual is more or they could be a mix okay but i definitely get they're international they have multiple companies throughout the globe and they are exotic okay that's all i'm gonna say about them please no one take no offense to what i'm saying thank you i just have to describe them so here we have the lovers and the ten of wands september i do see that a situation with someone is like it's nearing its end there's the grand finale here when it comes to some type of love situation um you know the 
Mercury retrograde, Mercury storm, the moon squaring Chiron retrograde. Okay, all of this is causing a lot of us to end things in our life at this point in time. So it's a lot of endings that some of you could be experiencing or some of you could be thinking. Some of you could be in a relationship with someone and you're thinking, yeah, you know, maybe it's time I remove myself from this or you could live with family and you're thinking maybe it's time the two of you go your separate ways or there, there's like a reshuffling okay um but for most of you it's a love situation here with someone and the last few weeks have been very trying with you and this person or even traumatizing and i feel like you're at your wits end or this person is at their wits end or you have not spoken to this individual and at this point you're at your wits end and i'm seeing the month of september that you're just letting it go completely for good the ten of wands after fighting very very hard i feel like you have six of swords and it's almost going up right you're you're gonna move yourself into calmer waters with determination okay the magician here and manifesting something a lot less stressful and the moment is crazy, Scorpio, because I feel like the moment you move forward away from something here that was not serving you relationship-wise, that's where everything changes and you meet this Capricorn devil energy. We also have the Fool, a young Aries as well, Nine of Swords. Yeah, you're, you're meeting people. People are going to start showing up. Queen of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. Y'all, let me tell you something. Justice, you're about to meet the one. This Capricorn and Capricorn and Scorpio, do they really mix? That's the question we have to ask ourselves. But regardless of what, you know, many think or somebody may think, it shows y'all getting married. Some of you will end up having a baby with this person. You have confirmation. There goes my throat chakra. Spirit doesn't want me to spoil too much. Okay? This is going to be... You see, this love story with this Capricorn, let me tell you something. If you have your Kindle Unlimited, or you have the Kindle Unlimited, and you read those sappy romance novels, okay? Y'all already know. Those sappy 18-plus romance novels that is supposed to be, like, fun and quirky and you know some type of fantasy there you know like the character always fantasizes about the one character and then they actually come together and you know there's always that nookie nookie scene and it's intense and it's like the passion between the two like that's what that's what this is about to be okay with you and this capricorn that's where you're about to be at it's about to be like one of those romance Nookie Nookie Kindle Unlimited, you know, if you have your Kindle Unlimited, you can read it for free, you can borrow the book for free, right? Like it's going to be one of those, and it always has, like, the front cover, a shirtless man, or a woman that looks very enticing, right? She's posing a certain way, or she could have, you know, a more sleazy outfit on, you know? Like, you, you know these romance novels, y'all. Like, that's how it's about to be, like, this thing where this individual is an a-hole, in a whole in a good kind of way they're very cocky and very arrogant but they are the one for you y'all gonna end up married to this person but you will be dealing with an aries in between okay there will be an aries there i see justice here things are being balanced in your favor scorpio okay somebody's getting cinnamon toast crunch somebody's buying cinnamon toast crunch at the grocery store I'm seeing Aldi's. I'm seeing Publix as well. The Devil. Five of Wands. Oh my goodness, y'all. This this Capricorn energy. Y'all about to y'all about to be running for your life. Ten of Wands, Empress. There's a Capricorn energy that's gonna tie y'all down. Yes, they're gonna tie you down. They're gonna try to have you sit down somewhere and settle down with them. And get married to them. You didn't think it was coming. Here we go. Three of swords and a ton of swords. So this new Capricorn energy, right? You're going to move forward with it because the situation from the past is finally ending for good. You're finding out something. It's some type of message or 
this always comes up for you guys that you find out stuff through like messages or email or through like web history like you always find out something through the internet but it's coming up again y'all like some type of leaked photo leaked video or leaked text messages or someone's catfishing account something like that is being revealed and it's over for you six of cups yeah an energy from the past and this is going to be a tower you have the tower twice nine of swords you're going to see this messages or this notice at night or somebody's story somebody's instagram story or snapchat story i heard seven of pentacles magician it's another scorpio for a lot of you it's it's a scorpio dealing with a scorpio here or you're a cross watcher and your person is scorpio but for a lot of you it's a scorpio an aries or a gemini that you dealt with in the past and something here is being revealed and the new person is the Capricorn. Six of Wands, Four of Cups, you're going to get Ace of Swords, you're going to get an unexpected offer here. On the 4th, 14th, or the 24th of September, you're going to get an unexpected offer to start right away. Okay, making two to three times more than what you currently make. And this is going to be a brand new opportunity with the Magician. Like, this is the universe setting you up. So... Oh, Scorpio, there's a move. Somebody here has to make a move this month. This could be out of state or out of the country, this opportunity, but there, there's some type of housing thing going on here. Or Some of you are going to get the opportunity to buy like another property and make it a rental property or a vacation home, stuff like that. There's definitely a big financial opportunity here that's presenting itself. Money is looking really good for a lot of you. For a lot of the signs as well, there's good luck, there's money coming in. Okay, this is a shift, but the Ace of Swords, Spirit is sending you like a, a lifeline, okay? Financial lifeline, if you will. So let's keep going. What do we have in the Oracle? We have reconciliation and boundaries, yeah. Y'all, someone here doesn't want to let go of you, but you have a whole new life ahead of you. I'm, I'm really getting that. I'm really getting for most of you, it's a brand new life that you're about to have, and this is the tower. Like, you're about to literally have a brand new life, and you're about to meet someone while you're in this new area, and that's who you're going to sit down and be married to. But you are going to also have a thing going on with an Aries. We have Angel in Isolation. If somebody was like your twin flame, I feel like they missed their chance this lifetime. Like, I don't know. I feel like the angels are wanting you to isolate away from this person or something. Like, you could have a lot of love towards someone. But I feel like at this point in time, the angels want you to take a step back from that and pursue everything new. Magnetic is here. Karmic cycle. Yeah, because someone just wants to stop. I told y'all. I said it, it's big money coming in, but someone wants to just keep you in the same, never-ending cycle, the same, boring SHRT, and so, screw that. Yeah, because they're stalking you, like you're about to be in the star energy, look, star, wish fulfillment, blessing, the wheel, and someone here wants you to remain on their lower timeline where they're bored and they're not doing anything not evolving or progressing and they're going to be a hot mess calling you up hot mess and key if you get a new home this individual is going to want a key to your home or something people have a lot of nerve this earth timeline people have a lot of audacity somebody here from your past asking you for a key so that they can come in and go out or whatever and whenever uh, i don't know scorpio it's an energy here of forgiveness, but your peace also is important. So bad health. Oh my goodness, this came in another read of yours. It's coming up again. You're you're hearing news that someone has monkey P O X, okay? You're getting news. Someone here is telling you someone you know or 
I don't know, but there, this came up in your previous read or a read I did for you two weeks ago. It came up like someone is telling you that they caught it at work or where they were working. I, I don't know. Something like that. And that it's real, you need, that you need to, you know, be careful or something. I don't know. Something weird like that. Thoughts is here. And message. Mature man. And may female. This king of pentacles is manifesting you. They've been looking for someone like you for a long time. We have thief and we have Judication. Here we go. Here we go with this ish. Okay. So there's a karmic here that they're going to try to take you to court the month of September. Okay. This has been coming up for multiple people, for multiple of the signs. It's not just you. Okay. Came out for Pisces, came out for Leo. It's coming up for you as well. So we have someone here that is going to try to take you on court on some blasphemous lies okay that you could have some type of issue or that you rob them i don't know i feel like your first uh course of action should be to dismiss this as a frivolous case okay if possible okay have this dismissed as a frivolous case and hopefully the court right the judge just dismisses it all together um but again, speaking to a lawyer, attorney would be your best bet here because it could be potential to countersue this individual based on the claims here that they're making. I feel here that they're claiming that y'all have been harassing them, that y'all have caused them emotional distress, and it's almost this energy of they want to put you in some type of uh, mental hospital or they want you to be... Uh, put into like a rehab program or something like that and as jesus said if they persecuted me they will persecute you so did we never think this time was coming i feel like this is going to be one of the first of many court cases in your life that you're going to have to deal with because you are chosen because you are starseed you're indigo okay you are anointed you are dm or you're df like this is welcome to earth you know like if you didn't get your welcome to earth yet now you did welcome to earth where we are on a karmic timeline oh yes we're on a karmic timeline now we are because a lot of these divine feminines divine masculines that we're supposed to the ones that you know were higher level and whatnot they were supposed to come into union a while ago and they didn't and that's why a lot of them are you know the ones that ran they're going through a lot of ish right now. At the same time, you're also hearing that someone has been caught up and that they're going to jail, that they're going to be arrested or whatever. They could be messaging you to bail them out or something. This read is a mess. It's a mess. It's so much that's happening so fast. And I'm tasting pizza, but it's so much that's going to happen so, so fast. So yeah, just take it one day at a time. Okay, mature woman and message of concern. Yeah. Yeah, imprisonment. They they trying to get you know, some of y'all locked up now. They trying to get some of y'all locked up. Have a friend that can bail you out. Okay, have have an account that you know has the funds and whatnot, just in case you need someone to come and bail you out. Cause they trying to get y'all locked up. Damn. Same with Leo. Same with Pisces. I knew this time was coming. I knew, but I didn't want to say anything because I don't want people to be scared. You know, but, you know, they call you over the court, you can't run away from the case. You you can't, you know, they, they can take it overseas and whatnot. Like, you can't, like, they can freeze accounts and whatnot, y'all. <laughs> you know, they can put a lane out on stuff. They can garnish wages and whatnot, charge fees if you don't show up to court, if you don't show up to you know, you're receiving a notice and then you don't show up. They can track and hunt you down unless you're living off grid in a cave somewhere. Right? Like if you're off grid, then I guess this part won't apply to you. You know, if you're homeless, right? Or if you're wandering around, you don't have like a real address or anything like that, then this part won't apply to you because how are you ever going to receive the notice from court if you don't have an address? But if you have an address, that notice is coming. Okay. It's for sure coming. 
the month of September, and they want you to show your face, okay, to speak to the judge. So I don't know what you're going to do. Good luck. That's all I got to say because court, if those of you that have never been to court and whatnot, that ish takes the whole day. You get a little 15-minute break, at least over here where I'm at. You get a 15-minute break to, like, eat something. You can't drink any water, nothing. So literally in that 15 minutes, you have to rush out of the courtroom, the courthouse, go to your car and try to scarf down everything and then rush back and be all presentable and everything. It's just like, it's a drag. You roll your eyes sort of back up to your head like FML, you know, literally. But it does feel to me like someone here is also trying to, uh, the way they're trying to sue you, they also want money. So that would explain the thief card as well. Like they're trying to claim that you're, you know, experiencing some type of psychosis or something, that you're a danger to others, to them. Um, but then they're also claiming that you have to pay for damages that they incurred. Because it seems to me like they had to go to the doctor or to therapy or I don't know, something like that. I feel like this is all staged and this is all fake evidence that they're presenting. This very much feels like a case to just slow you down, slow down your grind, your, you know. But this is what our reality is going to be, you know. People were celebrating when they were taking that man to court back to back, but I was just looking at it as like, okay, yeah, some of this stuff is real, but some of it is fake. Okay, those of you that are spiritually tied and connected to the spirits, you know some of the stuff that they're charging on this man is fake. And I don't like that man, but I'm just going to be truthfully honest. They put false charges on that man and accused him of so much ish. And people were celebrating, popping bottles and whatnot. But I was just like, I was the one person that was saying, you know, we really need to look through all this paperwork and read because some of this stuff is completely fake. And yet they are charging him. So if they can do it to him and he has billions, then they can do it to us as well. They can do it to any of us and falsely accuse and charge. And the Book of Mormon talks about this. But that is your read. That's what I have for you. I wish you love and light, and I wish you the best of luck. Okay, good luck. Because it's going to be one of the first of many, I promise you. But love and light, take care. <laughs>